Fulham nil, Brentford three, Liverpool three, Bournemouth one, Wolves one, Brighton Hove Albion four. We're going to go through all the games today on this video. Hello and welcome to the Full Time Podcast. There's been some massive games today. We're going to talk about three of them. We're going to talk about the three o'clock kickoffs. First, starting with Fulham losing 3 0 at home to Brentford. Who would have predicted this? I predicted a Fulham win uh, when we did our Game Week 2 predictions. And I'll tell you what, Brentford are not looking any different without Tony. They're probably looking even better. Um, and yeah, a superb win at Craven Cottage. I think this is one of the games that a lot of teams would come and think, well, this is going to be a very, very tough game at Craven Cottage against a good Fulham side. Fulham, though, with a good win at Everton. But could that also mean that maybe Everton are in a very, very bad place right now? They play Villa at the Villa ground um, tomorrow. Liverpool 3, Bournemouth 1 as well. Uh, good game for Liverpool to start the season. Everyone probably predicted that. Bournemouth now with one point in two games, the games being West Ham and Liverpool, which you wouldn't expect a result out of. Um, and uh, uh, McAllister has got a red card that game as well. Uh, I do still think they need a good sort of number six in midfield. They got Endo, but I don't think that's enough for their midfield. Um, losing McAllister will obviously see how strong it is without the key players. I don't know who they're really going to play there. Um, now, Wolves 1, Brighton and Hove Albion 4. That really shows that Wolves are not in a great place to be now. They had a very good game actually against Manchester United, saying that the circumstances, it being at Old Trafford, etc. Um, but yeah, I'd, I think Wolves are very are in trouble this season. Thankfully, maybe for Wolves, there are teams that are sort of further, further below them not leagued uh, position wise but just quality wise I think some of the key players in Wolves team will maybe keep them up against sides that, that they'd be known to beat. Brighton though with two 4-1 wins uh, Luton and Wolves not the toughest of teams but say this Brighton team have lost McAllister, one of their key players they always seem to be able to do something with it and get something better, better out of it um, so yeah I think that's a brilliant result for Brighton and I think this has proved that Brighton I, I didn't predict them top 7 nor did I predict Spurs top 7 but um, so yeah I'm that really doubting myself on that now top 4 contenders maybe you never know how they've been playing has been immense whether they can do that against the the big big boys Liverpool's your, your Man City's your Man U's whatever um, maybe even your Tottenham's now. Uh, that'll have to see when those games come up. Uh, but yeah, I think it's been a good, good few three o'clock games. Uh, Tottenham Man U video coming out very soon as well, where we talk about that game. Cheers for watching. Goodbye.